So a lot of times when people are selling their business, you're an entrepreneur, you just started a business, you're selling it to people and you're brand spanking new entrepreneur, you don't know how to sell yourself to other people, investors, customers, buyers, employees, real, no matter what it is, you don't know how to sell yourself. I'm gonna explain to you today the difference between a rookie startup entrepreneur selling themselves to others versus somebody who's an established, credible entrepreneur selling themselves to others. So let me start off here. When you look at this chart, you see two things. Selling is emotionally and it's logically. Unfortunately, sometimes people only sell emotionally and they don't get the best results possible. And some people only sell logically and not everybody responds to it logically. Most people generally buy emotionally and the more successful people you deal with, they buy more logically. So if you're sitting with an investment company like I just sat with this past week with Foresters, it's a $60 billion company, the CEO is here, a guy named Tony Garcia, a good friend of mine, and we're having a serious conversation about business. I don't need to sell emotionally anymore, they wanna know logical, because logical to them is purely math. What is the profit margin, what's it gonna cost us, how long is it gonna last, what is your commitment? It's purely a logical sale versus me sitting with a husband and wife who want to buy an insurance policy, and I ask Mary, how are you going to feel if God, for, God forbid something happens to Bobby? That's an emotional sale, okay? So let me bring it back to you. You're a new personal trainer. You started your business, and you want to start personal training in your community. How much credibility do you have? What have you done? How many people have you helped out that lost 20, 30, 40 pounds? You don't have anybody. So how are you doing it? You got to sell yourself to your customers emotionally, okay? So real estate agent, your brand spanking new real estate agent, you just started your business. No one knows your business. You've never sold a house before. You don't have stories to say $1.3 million, $600,000, $800,000. You just started a marketing agency. You don't have any kind of a credibility. What do you do? You got to sell emotionally. Here's what we're going to be doing. So emotional selling is using words such as what if, imagine, possibilities. Here's where we're going. Here's where our vision is. Here's what our mission is. This is what we're planning on doing. So emotions are high. Logic, you don't have a lot of credibility. Yet, what you can use here, you don't have credibility from your career, but you can use credibility for your industry, such as our current industry has dot, 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 dot demand. Last year, the industry did $17 billion. Another company similar to us did this. The potential to this is this. That's the logic you're using by your stats. And you can talk about your track record if you've had success in another space and what your plan is on doing it here. It is an unknown, that's why the emotion is high. Now, the longer you're in the business, one year, three year, five year, seven year, 10 year, middle mark, you're selling both emotionally and logically. The longer you're around, you're no longer selling emotionally. Here's why. Now you may say, Pat, what do you mean I'm not selling emotionally? If you're going out there doing business, business with somebody and everybody already knows who you are, everybody's already doing PR and marketing for you. Everybody already is. So your need to oversell yourself to people is not as high as it used to be. You can still do a little bit of it, but you're not doing that much of it. Now you're selling more logically. Let me explain. Uh, Mary, the last seven clients that invested with me, I got them returns of 17% for the last three years and ta 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 ta. Let me explain to you what happened last time. The five people's home I represented, they were expecting to sell the house for $600,000. We sold it for six thirty-five. dollars Here's what they had to say about me. This is what this other client, she was expecting $1 million. I was able to sell the house for $1,080,000. And here's what, the, this is now logic. Here's factual. Here's what I did. You watching this, this is the difficult part because you don't yet have credibility. Your goal, is to get to a point where you have credibility and eventually to a point where you have a reputation. Everybody knows what it means when they do business with you because at that point the sale becomes so easy. So you don't have to worry about overselling yourself anymore. Sometimes at the beginning, you gotta go use every single thing you can for a new person to give you a shot as a rookie entrepreneur who still doubts you a little bit to say, you know what, I'll give this, I'll give this person a shot. And the more you take care of them and you treat them very well and they tell everybody and they tell other people and next thing you know your clientele is going higher and then business becomes a lot easier. So I hope that makes sense to you, the difference between selling emotionally and logically on your timeline of how long you've been in the business and how to position yourself in a way to increase the chances of you selling. With that being said, if you got any questions, 
thoughts, comments about today's episode, comment on the bottom. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, click on the subscribe button and the notification button right next to it to be one of the first to get the videos when they come out. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.